Uh oh, I did it again, you all. I did it where I have I came on and I forgot to turn I forgot to turn the sound on. <laughs> I did it again. So I hope you I hope you all can hear me now. <laughs> So I want to welcome welcome all the new people here to the channel. Sometimes there's some snafus that happen. So let me know if you can hear me now. I think I, I think we're on now. We should be good to go. I need to make me a checklist. I say that every week. I need to make a checklist. I need to mute my computer. I need to make sure I have the sound turned back on and all that good stuff. It's just kind of crazy. <laughs> I hope you, hope you all had a good weekend. For those of you that are new, I want to welcome you on. And if you love junk journal related videos, then this is the place to be. So just hit that subscribe button and also make sure that you hit the notification button as well. And if you love junk journal videos like this, yes, shame on me, mouse. <laughs> If you love junk journal videos like this, then you can give this video a thumbs up as well. All right. So, yep. Technical police. Technical police. Come and get me. I just need to. You know what? I can avoid all this by just making a checklist. One day I'm going to do that. <laughs> I don't know when. So, I'm going to be working on the folders today um, because I have quite a few that I started and I didn't finish. So, I wanted to work on those. And I was going to work on them on Friday. And I'm not going to apologize for Friday because, you know, it wasn't really my fault that we were having some some Internet connectivity issues. It was actually uh, um, happening in the neighborhood. And I, when you got all were on with me, I actually turned my computer off and turned it back on. And um, it may not have seemed like it because my computer comes back up relatively easily. But it actually... Um, it didn't resolve anything. So at that point, I knew I knew that I wasn't going to be able to come back on. So um, I'm not going to do too much tutorial type of talking on here. But if you have a question, I will be happy to answer it. I've already cut um, these pieces the last time that I worked on these. So I just wanted to kind of finish them up and come on and chit chat with you all. And find out how your weekend was. So, um, my weekend was, I, I would say it was productive. I didn't really work on anything that was craft related. But it was still a productive weekend. I actually went on a, a bit of a road trip. It was a quick road trip. I went up to Virginia and came back. So, like a two day trip. Up, spend the night, and then came back. So, that was kind of cool. I'm kind of proud of myself. Because I don't usually do quick trips like that, but I did it this time, and it was fantastic. I went with went with one of my my buddies, so we chit chatted the whole way there. And so I was telling I was telling my grandson, I was telling you know, a good friend is somebody that you can just have random conversations with, and they listen to you. <laughs> And so that's what we did. We had random conversations the whole way up and back. And it was quite nice. So it's nice to have a friend that you can do that with. So I wanted to uh, oh, welcome those of you that are on also. Rachel and Mouse and Roberta. Thanks for hanging out with me. And also Miss Katia. Where, where you been? We haven't seen you in a while. I told you all I miss the regular people. I know when the regular people are not here. <laughs> I'm like, where are they in my mind? Because I always remember like something that you all have said or some suggestions that you've given. And it's just nice hanging out with y'all. See, because we're friends and um, we we have those random thoughts. I went to uh, Norfolk, Norfolk, Virginia, where the naval base is at. And I actually have never been there before. So that was kind of cool. Hey, Petals, how are you doing? I've never seen you over here, Petals, but you've probably been hanging out in the corner, which is kind of cool. All right, y'all. I So what I did, I will tell you what, guys what I did real quick. I already had these folded, and I forgot what the size is. Let me see. Let me see what the sizes of these were, because these are like kind of the perfect size in my opinion. 
for these little mini folders. So I cut a five by four. So this is five by four, and then I just folded it. And this little piece, this is gonna be my tab. And I cut the tab. I know I have it on a little piece of paper around here somewhere, but this is one and a half by like one and three quarters for the tab. And then this is gonna be a belly band on the inside, and it is like one and a half by two inches, I think. That can't be two. It has to be more than two by four inches. One and a half by four inches. So I might cut this down just a tidbit more because the ones that, let me show you all the ones that I made before. Oh, you lost your internet service and you got it back. Oh, see, that was me on Friday. My internet, I didn't lose it all together, but it was quite spotty, I have to say. So at that point when I decided to kind of end our live stream that day, that's why, because it was just kind of spotty. So this is what the mini folders look like. And this is the inside of it. So I put like um, a journaling opportunity here on this side and a belly band where you can stick something in. And these are so beautiful. I was kind of looking at these and they came out really nicely. So I'm going to do a little bit of sewing as well. And this is the, the front of that one and the inside. Very pretty. Hey, Tamika. I was going to say your name and you heard me. And here's a, and I put like a little fabric in here too. And then this one here, kind. So that's that. So that's what I'm making today. So I'm kind of just trying to finish up some of these uh, mini folders. Like I said, if you all have any questions, just let me know. Okay, wait a minute. I think I mixed something up here. And what I did, I used the plastic bags to keep the mini folders that are from the same paper pad together. Because that's kind of important because you want coordinating coordinating pieces to work together. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to try to keep this straight this time today, is, because I'm kind of taking my time. All right, so that I can kind of mix and match everything without thinking about it. All right, so we got those, those, those. I'm just going to start moving some stuff around. So I'm going to take the belly bands and I'm just going to shift them to the right. And take this one over here at the top and shift it to the bottom. Shift you over here. Shift. Shift. And you go up here and I'm going to do the same thing with the tabs. You go there. You go there. You go. Actually, I'm going to have to move them twice. And this goes here, this goes here, that goes there, that goes there, and then that, that one, and that's fine. Okay, so now they have like three different patterns there. This, yes, this paper pad, this particular paper pad was from Michael's, and I think it was, um, it's tropical something. I don't know if I still have it or not, because I've been tearing through that paper pad like crazy. Let me see, hold on. Let me see if I can find it for you real quick. I'm looking, y'all. I'm looking. Hold on. Oh, here it is. Okay, I got it. Oh, I have to look for it. Okay, so, uh-oh. I don't have the top of it. Dang, nabbit. Um, yeah, it might take me a while to find it. <laughs> I know I have the top of it. Wait, hold on. Let me look again. Oh, here it is. All right, Tropical Life, that's what it is. It's a Tropical Life paper pad, and you can see I don't have, there's not much left because I've been using the heck out of this one. And I did get this from Michaels, and I got it when the paper pads were like $5. And I've had this for a few years as well because you can see the price is like $19.99. But I, I didn't pay that much. I definitely got it on sale. 
But I love this paper pad. But it had like a lot of foily stuff in it. So I didn't use it as much. And I don't know if they still have it or not. Because I haven't bought any paper pads from Michaels in a really long time. So I don't know. So while I'm running my mouth, let me start I'm rounding the corners on my tabs. So those will be ready. With my We Are Memory Keepers uh, corner chomper. Try to do more working than talking. Cause I kind of missed y'all. I didn't get I didn't get all my full talking out <laughs> on Friday. I was like, "Dad, nab it." I started to try to come back on, but I was like, "Man, I'm not gonna do. I'll just give it a break for Friday." And then I wasn't able to come on on Saturday and Sunday, obviously, since I was running the road. I was on the road. It was a nice fun road trip but I'm back so what did you all do this weekend did y'all do anything special anybody else go on a quick road trip road trips are fun sometimes sometimes I just want to be lazy and stay at home though usually that's before I go on a trip I want to be lazy and stay at home but then I'm glad that I I go, I'll actually get out and go once I do it. I'm using like the small, um, the small corner, the one fourth corner rounder on here as well. So I'm do this and I don't think, I'm not going to do the belly band though. You visited your family. I hope all is well with your family. Get some paper clips just so I can. Hey, you don't belong here. I'm gonna mix something up. We'll just stick you up here. There we go. Put those together. Try to keep them together this time. So the last time I did this, I got things a little bit mixed up. So try to keep them from being too mixed up. Um, the only thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put like a little journaling spot in there and a belly band where you can tuck, you can tuck a note in if you wanted to, Katia. But I'm not going to add any, I'm not going to add any papers to the middle. So it's going to look, uh, like this one. You might have missed when I showed these that I did complete. So it'll look like this with the tab on the front. And then it's just going to have a journaling spot here. And then you could make like some little, um, like maybe a fold out paper would go in here nicely too. So I have a little belly band where you can tuck things in. And that way, when you write something, it won't fall out. So I'm not making it like a notebook. So I don't want to sew anything inside of there. So I hope that answers your question. So we got home crafting and um, Katia stayed at home. I'm going to tell y'all, home is my favorite place to be. I love being at home. People are like, don't you get tired of being at home? Nope. It's my favorite place to be. My home. So I could stay here. If I didn't have to go out and eat and get crafting stuff, I would not. I wouldn't go anywhere. <laughs> I would just stay at home. It drives my family crazy sometimes. They're like, let's go someplace. And I'm like... I don't feel like it. I just want to be lazy and stay, stay in my pajama jams and do some junk journaling stuff. That's my favorite thing to do. All the uh, little folders for gifts. That's a thought. You know, these would be nice. Like, you could use them kind of like a card. Put some money in it. And a note. I guess you don't always have to give money for a gift, but you know how it is. <laughs> oh, you had some barbecue on Saturday. Y'all was getting out and some cold, cold beer. I love beer. Y'all just don't know. I love beer, but I don't need to drink a lot of it, but I love it. Oh, that's a good idea for teachers. Just something nice and small and quaint, right? 
nice gifted gift gift. I almost didn't use this paper pad because it has such uh, so many shiny pieces of foily paper in it. Because you know we're trying to do a a little bit of the grungy uh, vintage thing, but at the same time. I felt like it was okay because you can use the vintage photo and it kind of knocks that that shininess back. All right, so I got these and I have some more also, so I might as well I might as well get those too from the other paper pad. Let me take these out. Those are the completed ones. I only I think I only completed like four last time, four or five. So this one, that's a completed one. All right, so let's move these out the way. <laughs> Crabs, yeah, I don't eat crustaceans. I just, I don't like them. I never have, and I thought something was wrong with me because so many people like shrimp and crab and lobster and stuff like that. So, as I was growing up through the years in my young adult adult life, I would keep trying like shrimp because I thought like, well, maybe it's where I'm at and it just doesn't taste good. And But I never developed a taste for it. So, I, I finally gave up. It just wasn't something that I enjoyed. But I felt like, always felt like I was missing something because a lot of people love seafood. And I like fish, but... I just never got into, never got into like the crustaceans. <laughs> Crabs and cold beer together outside. Even crabs. I try to, I still feel like I'm left out sometimes. But if, you know, our family goes like to like Red Lobster or something like that. I'll just um I'll just get like some fish tacos or something. Which they make really good fish tacos at, at Red Lobster. By the way. Okay. So this is that two sided paper, which is nice because I was able to like flip the paper and then use the stuff on the, the other side. Um well this is technically my second time making the mini folders. Tamika had never made them before, so but I like it though. I think I probably made, of course, you know me, I probably made it more complicated than it needs to be, but you know, that's just how I roll. My busy little fingers making things uh, more complicated than they need to be. All right, so this is gonna go one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. One, two, there we go. Now all those will go together. So let me do my corners again. The clams and the half shell. But you know what I do like? I like oysters. Do that count? <laughs> Does that count as a shellfish? I like oysters. I don't know. I like clam chowder. Clam chowder is pretty good to me. I don't know if I ever had like clams though, but I have had oysters. Are they like the same thing? What do y'all think? Do you think clams and clams and oysters are like the same thing? I don't know. I have to start working start working on my books I keep saying that I mean I've started a little bit but I need to really get the get the hustling on them books chocolate chip cake mm, I don't think I ever had chocolate chip cake I might enjoy that because I do like chocolate cake a show for sure 
So if you're just coming on, I am doing a mini folders. And I'm not really talking through what I'm doing as much because I did this on the last video that I did the mini folders on. But right now I'm just rounding some corners on some of the pieces that we have cut. You can always go on the replay and you can see I did give the measurements for these as well. So I think they're kind of like the perfect size to put in pockets and whatnot. Put some little knickknacks in. You can even um, put some pictures in into these. I'm definitely going to be making more of these. And of course, I could have cut it with tab on the actual onto the actual uh, folder itself, but of course, I didn't do it that way. Now let me fix this focus because I see it's going in and out. Me and my focus. All right, that should, that should fix that for momentarily. So we won't be going in and out. So have you all been working on your project 20s? I didn't get to work on my project 20. I thought about taking some stuff with me and I was like, no, that's doing too much because this is like a quick trip. And I just want to enjoy the company I was with. So I didn't take any crafting stuff with me on the road. I don't know if I could do anything in the car though. I know people that do stuff in the car all the time, like crafting stuff. I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> I don't know if I could do crafting stuff in the car. Ooh, the scoop of ice cream. Mm -mm -mm. That sounds so good. I love chocolate chip anything. And I could eat chocolate, but I don't go crazy over chocolate. I know a lot of people go crazy over chocolate. That's not me. I had a boyfriend, he would ask me, like a Valentine, he would actually ask me if I wanted some chocolate, and I'd be like, no. No, thank you. I'll pass on the chocolate. You can buy me a Hershey bar later or something, but I don't need a bunch of chocolate. Uh, what did you do with your mini folders, uh, Tamika, when you made them? Because whenever I'm making something, I have to I have to have in my mind like what I'm going to actually use, what I'm going to use them for. Because I'm so practical, I don't like making things that I'm not going to use. Like I see stuff all the time. I'm like, ooh, I can make that. And then I think, what am I going to do with it though? <laughs> or what did they do with it, do with it when I see them making it? The corner rounder, um, they sell them at uh, Michael's, Hobby Lobby, and also Joann's, but you can get them online as well. And I think I have a link below for the corner rounder, I think, because I didn't, I didn't really change my description like I should. I was being lazy today. All right, so I got all of these already, and so the next thing I want to do is start doing, attaching some stuff. Y'all have to look at what I did before, because... I don't remember. Okay. So we're going to get the sewing machine out. That's what we're going to do. Oh, going to do a little sewing. And you know what? I don't know where my little plastic doohickey is that I catch stuff with. Because I didn't even really do too much prepping this time. But oh well, whatever. <laughs> Whatever. I'm just going to keep it moving. Oh, you gave them as gifts. That's cool. Did you put anything inside? Katia is working on some journals. I'm hoping to have a fair amount of journals completed as well by the end of June. Because I just feel like I'm just taking too long. I think I'm gonna cut these belly bands down just a little bit more. They're uh, kind of long. So, uh, y'all can't see what I'm doing, but I got my my um, cutter out. I got it in my lap, so I won't have to move anything around. Let's see, I'm gonna make it like about, mm, I don't know, it's going to be hard, hard to cut it in my lap. <laughs> She's going to try. Oh, 
cut like a sliver of it. And you hoard it some. That's the story of my life. Hoarding things. Alright, let me see if I can do this straight. Because the last time I did this, it wasn't straight. So let's put a small paper clip. I'm going to put a small paper clip on the bottom of here. To see if I can keep the belly band straight while I sew this. And I'm going to start. I'll just start in the Kona here. And I'm going to do a zigzag stitch. And I'm using like a... A kind of a neutral green oh let me put my I showed y'all last week look my glasses I broke them they have tape on them and washi tape because that's how we roll with the washi tape <laughs> all right hold on Ooh, my glasses need to be clean too uh oh I already see this is crooked oh well whatever kind of use the, the wrong stitch too but whatever I'm concentrating y'all that's why I'm not talking y'all know it's difficult for me to concentrate and talk I'm really kind of taking my time today Feeling, feeling like I'm in a slow mood today. Slow, relaxing mood. All right, that's good. And then I am going to sew this on my little tab. And it doesn't really matter where I put it at. I'm going to put it in the middle. So I think I'll put all the other ones in the same spot. And I'm going to use the zigzag on this one, too. She's concentrating, folks. I'll try to get it straight. My tab straight. looks like and I can move on to the next one now so those three pieces are on I'll have my paper bag over here I move my trash can I don't know what I was thinking so unprepared I'm trying to read the uh, read while I'm doing this okay let me cut this down kind of as I go So it won't be too fat so I can see what's behind here all right and let me put my paper clip on to kind of semi hold it because the other one still shifted a bit but you win some and you lose some so I'm gonna go with that <laughs> she would yeah girl the broken glasses ain't a game I'm glad it's not uh I'm just glad it's not broke like in the middle you know you've seen people whose glasses are broken in the middle and I actually I broke them right before I left to go on my trip I, I broke them on Friday actually and um so and I had to go to Walmart for something so I went to the Walmart optical department and asked them if they could fix it and they said they couldn't fix it. And I was like, oh well, here comes the tape. So I have to, I'm, I'm sure they can't be fixed, so I'm going to have to get some new frames. And frames are expensive, so you know what? I might be keeping these frames until, I might be keeping these taped up frames until it's time for me to get some new glasses because I get my glasses um, for a super discounted rate. 
but I can only get them like every two years, I think. And I don't, I think I got these last year. You can get it done, Roberta. Don't worry. You can do it. I have some Tim Holtz paper dolls that I haven't used as well. All right. Let's see here. Let's try to get this one straight. Get it on here as straight as I can. And again, I think I'm going to keep it on the zigzag stitch. Last time I used like the straight stitch. But this time, I'm going to use a little zigzag-ishness. You know, I usually go to the movies on the weekend, but I didn't get to go this weekend. I kind of miss that. I like going to the movies. I'm a movie theater kind of person. So that's like a treat for me. Alright, so that's how that one looks for now. We just got to add our, our other things to it. Yes, it's very, um, craft rooms are always very fluid, aren't they? Yeah. All right. Always very fluid. Thank you, Brenda. Put my paper clip on here. Put a big one on here this time. You're not happy with your pages? How come you're not happy with your pages? What do you think is wrong with them? I think I'll leave this on the right same stitch. I always second guess myself on the pages until after I get the ephemera in it. It almost doesn't make a difference because it's almost all about the ephemera. Unless you're doing kind of like a naked journal, then I guess the pages are more important. sewing around these pretty quickly. I'm kind of proud of myself. And they look good. So that's what this one looks like. Oh, well we're not finished with this one yet. <laughs> I forgot a few pieces. You've been watching plenty of YouTube. Me three. Because I love YouTube. I love watching YouTube videos. They make me happy. And I love it when my favorite YouTubers come on live. Because then I get to talk to them. I love live YouTube videos. The interaction is awesome. Oh. My thread tried to get away. Tried to get away is the operative word. I caught it. Okay, so that's how this one looks for now. Till we zhuzh it up a little bit. Got quite a few of these to do. Oh, it's for you. Then the last one that I did for me, I haven't even really started using it good. Ugh. I think what I'm going to do in my junk journal is just kind of do a lot of decorative type of things. And then that way, when I get ready to write things in, in I'll just, you know, I could just add my writing in afterwards. And that will be good for me. Instead of trying to decorate as I go. Just a little bit at a time, of course. 
Uh, it's raining like crazy here. Of course, it's monsoon season. I always say it's monsoon season in Florida in the summertime because it rains every doggone day. And of course, today is no different. It's been, we be getting some torrential downpours. Of course, my grass looks absolutely fantastic. <laughs> That's the good thing about it. So I'm kind of okay with the rain. pretty paper that's some pretty paper are you crafting your dining room hey I don't well I can't say my room is kind of a dual purpose room actually it's not just a craft room I actually do some other work in here as well so it's like my it's like my office slash craft room <coughs> oh excuse me but i also craft in my dining room and i craft in my living room it's just wherever i feel like crafting that day i've even crafted in my bed so i guess you're, it's more like a, a a craft space than a craft room itself it works out can make it work all right so that's what this one looks like for now are oh, you expecting rain later on in the week I don't mind the rain I like the lull of the noise that the rain makes on the rooftop and, oh let me cut this And, of course, again, I like it because it, it waters my grass. The rain gives life. So that's nice also. Doesn't really wash my car. That would be nice. <laughs> be nice if it washed the car. I actually got a car wash on Friday. My car, y'all... I'm not joking. My car has not been washed for like five years. That's a shame. I finally got the car washed. It looked like a whole nother car, like, like a brand new car. I've just been lazy. Of course, I always say I'm going to wash it myself and then I don't. So I just finally, I said, let me just take it to a car wash let these dudes do it for me that's so much better for me I think maybe at least once a year I'm gonna try to take my car to get washed <laughs> just once a year I think that would work for me by also sewing in these belly bands I don't have to worry about this popping up up so that is going to be nice I enjoy them. Sometimes I don't say that much, too. If you can believe that. <laughs> if you can believe I don't say that much on a, on a live stream. On other people's live streams. But sometimes I just, I just want to contribute to the conversation. Mm -hmm. And you know what else, too? I do say a few words sometimes when I'm on the live with people. Because it's a great way to show support on the channel. Because... Um, even chatting in the in the chat room is um, counts as like comments on your channel, so it's engagement for your channel. So when I'm on somebody else's channel, I always try to do a few. Um, uh oh, I always try to do a few thing, a few comments on there or chat a little bit, so it'll add to their engagement. That's my way to support them. Okay, I think. We are on empty, wow.
Let's see how much. I've been using the mess out of this thread, so. I didn't think I used that much, though, but this, this, um, bobbin was actually full when I started using this, of course, which I didn't just start using it today. All right, hold on, y'all. We got to load up the bobbin. Dining room look, look, works best. You know what? My house is like really, really dark. And I have a lot of windows, but it's just the way the placement of the houses are. It's just like, it's dark. I won't say it's really, really dark, but I don't, even when it's sunlight out, I don't get like a lot of sun. And I'm actually sitting by a window, but of course there's no sun today. But I have quite a few lights up. Um, I always put a few lights up when I'm on with you all. But I wish my house got more light. I would love that. I always admire like when you're watching like those uh, HGTV channels where people have like those houses with those gazillion big old windows and all the windows are nice and open. All the sunlight is coming in. I love that. I would like that so much. I would love that so much. Let's load Mr. Bobbin in. So we can get out of technical police mode. <laughs> get in there, people. Ugh. All right, let me thread this back up. Once again, she's just taking her time, y'all. Just taking her time. Like I got all day. I think it's the rain. The rain is making me like really, it's giving me a really nice calm feeling. I like being calm. Being calm and being happy. Enjoying life, enjoying time. All right. I think we're back in business. Technical difficulties police can go away. Okay, next. I got quite a few of these. Let me see what time it is. I'll probably end up working on these again. Maybe tomorrow. Because I'm just working so slow. <laughs> but I really just want to kind of get these done that I already started. That's what I'm trying to work on right now. Work on some projects that I already started. And I also need to work on the books. Because when I work on the books, then I kind of know what other ephemera I would like to have. Put you on the bottom. Okay. She's concentrating. Slow down. Slow it down, Lizzie. Slow it down. Getting a little sloppy. Got a heavy foot for a minute there. There's a lots of extra threads here, and it is. All right. Try to make this a little bit straight. Not a little bit, but a lot straight. Mm -hmm. 
I was going to like try to like co complete, complete some of these, but I'm just going to stay in my assembly line mode and just sew this, these parts on. And then tomorrow I'll work on another aspect depending on how much I still have a whole pile over here to get finished. So let me cut this down. Got this one cut down. Look at the little birds. They look like they're upside down. Oh, I think they were. Guess you have to watch for that orientation on your page. Make sure everything is great. All right. Yeah. Go a little bit slower than I've been going here. It makes for much better results. Although I don't think anybody will really notice except for me. Because they just, overall they just look really pretty once they're done. I think sometimes we're too critical of our own work. Okay. Put our tab on here. They do look more warm and spacious. Definitely the spacious part. But some people don't like their windows open like that. But I, would, I don't mind the windows being open. Letting all that beautiful sunlight in. I miss watching uh, HGTV in the, old, in the good old days. Because the channel has changed quite a bit. Hey, beautiful. Now they like showing a lot of house hunters and stuff like that. But in the beginning, they showed a lot of decorating shows. Like a lot of decorating shows. Of course, that was a long time ago. That's amazing saying that HGTV had been on for a long time. Because I guess in relation to time, it's a relatively new show. All right, I'm going to cut this. Gotta keep cutting my slivers off. Put that on the bottom. Now this, of course, these I'm working on I don't know what the name of this pad is either. I think it's a paper house pad. It's a double-sided pad that I got from Tuesday mornings. I try to get my pads from Tuesday mornings because they're just so much more affordable. If you have one in your area, I know everybody, they don't have one in their area. I'm very, 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 very lucky. Like my Tuesday morning, Michaels and Joann's and Hobby Lobby are all like within I'd say a mile and a half to two miles is, is kind of wonderful. <laughs> when I get ready to go someplace, I go to Tuesday mornings first, and then I'll go to the other crafting places after that. Always check Tuesday mornings and buy too much stuff. Because I can always find something to buy Tuesday mornings. I don't know about y'all. Tuesday mornings is fantastical. I'm doing good, to me. Uh, was that Tamika? Wait a minute. Oh, Laureline. Hey, Laureline. I'm doing good. I can't complain. I'm not a complainer. 
usually life is pretty good for me. I've had a good life. So I'm doing a okay. On was it on HGTV? Where you said she did all kinds of crafts. Well, HGTV what isn't really like a crafting, not like a crafting um show. Uh oh, you. don't belong okay I'll just flip you I'll just flip you inside there I'm gonna make this smaller all right yeah you see I have like some white where the paper got tore I think the threads will cover that up, so I'm not really worried about it. So don't just throw your paper out. Some things get covered up with with tape and tape washi tape and spit. <laughs> like my glasses. My glasses with the washi tape on it. Back in the day. Oh, speaking of back in the day, y'all, when I was on my little my little getaway. We found a, um, a phone booth. Can you believe that? I know they still have them like in maybe the bus stations and the airports and stuff, but you don't really see them around any place else. It was actually at a rest stop. Oh, I forgot to go around. I done put the tab on and ain't sold anything else. So... See, I'm running my mouth. Uh -oh. Hold on. Thread came loose. Are these um, folders going on sale? No, these are going to go into... They're going to go into some of the books. Are you interested in them? <laughs> they can go on sale if you're interested. But that wasn't my intention. But I can always make some more if you're interested. All right, let's start here. See y'all, I'm always a salesman. <laughs> Cause I love making these anyway, so it's kind of fun for me. A little time consuming, but still a lot of fun for me. All right, go past this. I have to do this a little bit differently since I put the tab on a little prematurely there. I don't think I'm gonna start any new new projects until I finish some of these. Just the ones I have like on my desk that need to be completed so I can put them away. Instead of moving them around in this fluid room that I have here. Yes, this is double sided paper. So you can see. Now I did do some well, I haven't started sewing those yet, but I'm getting ready to. These don't have, these are one-sided, which is still fine for what I'm doing. Because still most of the white part on the inside will be covered up. So see, that's white. So this is not double-sided. Actually, my um my Tuesday morning in my area, they just started. They're really getting down with the, with the Tim Holtz stuff now. They got like a whole section.
I have to say, I have a our Tuesday morning. They they're on the money. They we we are memory keepers. Oh my gosh, goodness. And the paper pads are nice. They don't have like a huge, huge selection of the paper pads, but they have a nice selection. And of course, the Tim Holtz stuff, they're really getting the Tim Holtz stuff in now. My nose is kind of stopped up. That's a good idea, putting recipes inside. I could think of just all kinds of stuff you could do with these little things. I like the idea of sticking a picture inside with a little note and giving it to somebody. That would be cool. I think it's better than a card. Concentrating now. <laughs> I'll show you what I have done so far, but we're still not. We'll probably be working on these for a few days. It's going to be one of those kind of weeks. Working on our mini folders. I like these. I've actually picked up some um, some small embossing folders as well and some dies from Tuesday morning too. Just some small ones, nothing big. One for one reason it's because I'm kind of I hate to say it cheap is such a such a harsh word. <laughs> I want to say I'm frugal about what I buy when it comes to the craft craft stuff. Put chapsticks inside. I don't know if they'll fit inside though. You can put them on the outside. The way these are constructed, I don't think they can hold the chapsticks. I was, you know, I was thinking that, um, I like your point about the unique ephemera and giving them for gifts, but I guess you would have to know if the person actually, if they use those types of things. Because these ephemera you can um, not only use for, for your um, junk journal, but you can use them in scrapbooking too. So that's nice. So if you knew somebody, oh, dang it, nabbit. If you knew somebody that would that scrapbooks as well, then this would probably be they would probably make some good gifts also. I didn't pull my thread enough, made it come out again. Alrighty. Here we go. I, I don't think I've ever done any scrapbooking. But, you know, junk journal is just, it's a form of scrapbooking, I think. Because I definitely have put pictures in my layouts, in my junk journal, in my traveler's book. And I've used some scrapbooking techniques. Lots of scrapbooking techniques used in junk journaling as well. So I guess I could say I'm a scrapbooker. <laughs> it's just a look, just a teensy bit different. Now the, this is really wacky, but still looks good. Oh, it's hard to find the small dies for the... I know Tuesday morning sells a lot of small dies. I got a few. 
That's why um, we were talking about the die cutting machines, you know, on a few of the shows past, a few of the live streams past. That's why it's good to research and know what you're going to use your uh, die cutting machine for. It might be worth it getting a bigger one because if you get a small one, you won't be able to use bigger dies. And if you get a bigger one, you can use them all or use most of them. I know even the Vagabond can't handle some of the big, huge dies, but it can handle some. That's a good idea about the coffee dye paper and the uh, stencils on top. All right, y'all. I am at an hour. I still have a few. Let's just look at what we have so far and where we need to go. Because these are this project is a little bit involved. So it's going to take a little bit of time to get the amount of folders that I would like. All right, so this is what I have left to do. Put that over to the side. So I just have... Uh, five more that I would like to complete and this is what we did so far so we have quite a bit of work left to do on these so we got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven so that's 11 how much 12 13 14 15 16 and I have some that's done so I'll have at least about 20 of those because I'll probably only use maybe one of these one maybe two in each junk journal so of course you'll see me making these again <laughs> but these are not completed yet because you can see this one has like a word on it and then it has like paper in it, it has fabric in it and then we added a little a little touch of, of a card there so and so I'll show you what it looks like on the inside of each one of these. That's the front. Very pretty. So what I, again, what I did was kind of mixed, mixed matched at least like three different pieces. And this is the two sided paper here. So I love the two sided paper, but the one sided paper works well too. So that's one, a two sided paper. Looks very lovely. I love my butterflies. I might have to get some more of this paper once I'm done. I still have quite a bit of that paper left though. <laughs> Thank you, Laureline. See, this one is blank, but after I put stuff on this side, you won't even see like the white paper. So it's not really necessary to have two-sided paper for this job, but if you do, you could like stop at like at this point and just go and use it from there, but y'all know me. Y'all know, she's gonna do just a tidbit more. Okay, so those are all the ones that are finished. So I'm gonna do some more work on these tomorrow, since I only have like a few left that has to be sewn, and then the next part, we'll be putting on some uh, words here, and we're gonna put some paper in here, and maybe a little bit of fabric. So we'll be doing that tomorrow. Yep, scrapbooking is definitely a form of, or should I say junk journaling is a form of scrapbooking. I don't know which one came first, the chicken or the egg, so I don't know which came first, junk journaling or the scrapbooking. <laughs> I suspect junk journaling has been around for a lot longer than I, I know, so I won't even try to figure out when junk journaling really kind of came about at all thank you petals all right you all i'm gonna say thank you to everybody that joined me on this very dreary rainy day but since we're all friends we can have random conversations and have a lot of fun chit chatting while we're while we're working on our ephemera 20 and if you are new to the channel and you like junk journaling make sure you hit the subscribe button and everybody make sure you hit that 
thumbs up before you leave. I would really appreciate it. And remember that the Project 20 is just all about doing as many pieces of ephemera as you can if you're a, if you're a journal maker, of course. Because, you know, if, if you're just making journals for yourself, you know it's not necessary to do 20 pieces of ephemera. But if you're a journal maker, then it really helps to be able to have the ephemera available when you actually make your journal. So that's what the Project 20 is all about. So I am going to shove off until tomorrow. Again, thank you very much. And I will see you all hopefully on a sunny Florida day. <laughs> so with that, I'm going to say love, peace, and hair grease. From your sweet lotus blossom and lovable Lizzie, have a fantabulous day and enjoy life.